Nouvelle-Zélande. Is it still new? is known thanks to a fiction uh, called Le Comte de Monte Cristo. <coughs> so the mid 19th century, uh, betrayed by his uh, enemies in love and business and political enemies, knowing that it's a fiction, it's uh, an island all dedicated to imagination. The only thing true in this island is the fort, that's no joke. And uh, also the other jails were loads of uh, political opponents to the French, uh, successive French kings, or not king, by the way, uh, were imprisoned in very, very disgraceful condition, life conditions. The old port of Marseille is one of the uh, 14 marinas that we have in Marseille. Uh, uh, this one um, counts for 3,000 births. Um, there are about 10,000 births in the city of Marseille. Opposite, you can see the town hall. The town hall with the French flag uh, looking like a small um, Italian palace. Designed during Louis XIV's reign, who not only decided to extend Marseille and the port of where we are with the huge galley arsenal, but also decided to raise to the ground the city hall. After the edification of two forts at the entrance of the old port, St. John's on the right hand side and St. Nicolas on the left hand side. This was of Provence. But then one of them at the end of his life ceded his uh, kingdom, his. Uh, to the king of France, you see, this territory of Provence, to the king of France. Provence became from the Catalan beach, when the two rare uh, sand beach you would find in Marseille, because uh, it's quite a rocky seashore, uh, in fact, uh, in Marseille, even if we have a wonderful uh, national park called Le Calanque. Huh? Um, 
Catalan and White Catalan, but because here are called the Frioul Islands, they stretch over five kilometers uh, from the south to the uh, north. Uh, we you know the ruins of a former 19th century hospital where uh, built in a very windy place in order to chase away the miasma and the miasma of uh, which is required by uh, the new laws. And a small island is close to us, closer to us. You can hardly see the difference between the stone and, uh, and the fort. There's had two forts built in Marseille, this one and one on top of the hill you will see just after here, I will show you, where stands now, nowadays, uh, very proud. So, voilà, this is the Chateau d'If, a uh, mythic place um, where it was not this. Was it? Now we're passing over the Silent Valley, Silent uh, Valley, where we have an open air theater. Là, you see Le Petit Nice, Le Petit Nice, um, it's very famous. It's a fire called the Musem. Alors, you see here La Corniche. Ah, what a nice work. You see a promenade. This was so unique, you know, in 1848. It was a revolution in people's lives, you know, really. Because, in, you know, you could get so many diseases in the. Well, it's too late. Little by little, by small or not only small houses, but uh, people, you know, as the port was extended <coughs> north, south became residential. And you have uh, the port of Pointe Rouge, uh, by the Cape, it's Ligoud, Labar, and the Bay of the Monkeys. And then if you went on, went on, went on, then we, we, we want this at the end of the world. And the islands you see belong to another archipelago. This is the Rio archipelago. The big one is called Maer, and the small one is called Tiboulen of Maer. The mother and, uh, and the, the Olosen. People would go walking over there, and the sea was five kilometers away from here. This is why when the sea started to go up, and still, uh, some amazing caves were sport here and uh, having a good time indeed. Yeah. You can have nice restaurants by the beach. Yeah. And just after this big statue you see further ahead, we call the David. It is David, the father of Solomon. It's a bit new, it's a high. And it's really, what is interesting uh, <laughs> is that um, it's really um, very nice. And on the left you have a um, horse track. And in the middle of the horse track you have a golf. And behind the horse track and the golf you have a big garden, look, and the Chateau Borelli on the left, which is also the museum of uh, art, decorative art. It's a very important pilgrimage place at Christmas. Leaflets, you see that kind of institutions where it just became obsolete very quickly and were transformed in something else. The Cathedral of Marseille built on a vast esplanade with those uh, arcade shop. I can't remember his name, but it's an English artist on the right who did the two sumo.
this car will be down there. Okay? You get two cars, cut off the street, come back, and you go nice walk, okay? And this way, please.
Mm-hmm. 